we're getting back on trail. This is the CR24 crossing, mile 97. Say hi, Wendy. Hey, here we go. <laughs> here we go. All right, so we are doing from County Road 24, 97.1, to Pine Glen Campground, which is 125.3, maybe? So it's about 28 miles. And this is what we get to start with. Wow, very cool. Get it down here where I can show it to you a little better. Absolutely gorgeous. It's going to be a fine weekend. 70s, upper 70s for the highs and mid 40s for the lows. Alright, we're going to get on down the trail. Trail's right there. I saw some people go over this. Possibly go there. And it's going to be a little hard to get crossed right there, but it can be done. I think that's what I'll do. I think I'm going this way. right over there. That's the 100 mile mark on the pin hoodie. So last year we did 97 miles on the trail. And this is our start this year. And yeah, it's just pretty cool. I like it. I love bridges. All right, there it is. So pretty. I'm uh, having such a good time already. Can't believe how warm it is. Which is good and bad. But we're going to just be happy and enjoy every moment out here. It's been, wow, six months since we've been able to get away for any kind of backpacking trip. So, glad to be here. Some great little area right here. We've just been cruising along for the next this past mile. The trail is just gorgeous. Lots of meandering. All right, let's get on down it. I 
little bit. We just followed this creek pretty much all day today. So far, I think we are about four, a little over four miles in. Fixing to head up this hill out to the road area. And then it's about a mile and a half on the other side of that road where there's a campsite for a mile. And then there's another one a mile and a half past that. So I wanted to see what time it is and how we're feeling before we decide where we're going. Whew. Just love being out in these woods. <sighs> Even when it's hard. Let's see, there's a sign. The Pinhody South. I can hear the cars, so I don't think we're too far from that road. We'll probably get up there, take a little break, and Think about what we're doing. All right, we're gonna check out the tenting and water spot at mile 104.1, I believe. We are about 0.1 away. Uh, we're hoping it's a good spot. Because like I said, it's been a little while and we are both tired. Uh, and it's getting to be about 4.30. Uh, I don't mind hiking as it's, the sun is going down. But I really do like to get to camp and be able to set up before it starts getting dark. Looks like this is it down here. So, I don't know. We'll see. Mike can make it work for the two of us. Alright. The trail is right over there. And we came around... There's a little fire pit, and this is our camp. This is our water. Here's the setup. You see there's our tents and just right here is the fire pit. Gonna build a fire and have some dinner. And the trail is right there. All right, we'll gather up some sticks. I'm leaving camp. Wendy's headed north and I'm headed south back to the road. I have a shuttle coming to get me. Um, and I know it's the right thing to do because I can barely uh, stand taking something to drink, let alone trying to eat something, which I have not 
try to do because I'm a little worried about that. Um, but I've got a shuttle coming. It all worked out perfectly, so I know by that it's also the right thing to do. God made a plan for me, so that's what I'm going to follow. Uh, I will get back to Pine Glen in a couple hours, and I'll lay down for a little while uh, before I try to drive home, try to eat something. Uh, thankfully, it's only a few hours from home. Oh. Alright, I just wanted to update you on what's going on. I'll probably just... you probably, um, of course you'll know, but I'm just going to add this to the end of the video for yesterday. Most likely. Unless I happen to run into something cool. This will probably be it. So, until next time. Hey, I got back to my car. So, still not feeling great, but doing okay. So, I'm going to go ahead and head on out. Um, still haven't ate anything. Uh, I believe it is about 10 something 10 30 so um i'll try to do that here shortly and see how that goes i can always pull over if i need to that's the beauty of having a bed in your car <laughs> all right talk to you later well i made it about a little over two between two and two and a half hours down the road had to pull off here in this little side area on the highway. Uh, well, between two back highways. Um, ended up falling asleep for about an hour. So that was really nice. Um, starting to feel a little better. I'm ready to eat. So, wish me luck. <laughs>